Race Nation, Kimber Schaefer here with Rage in the Cage, Oklahoma News, and a two-night weekend once again coming up, but this time we are back in Oklahoma City for a Rage in the Cage uh, on a Saturday night, a Roll in the Cage the night before, and we've got this fellow right here. You are debuting on our Roll in the Cage card. This will be the first time you'll be fighting um, or competing on our Roll in the Cage card, and it's Ethan Siegfried. Siegfried, yes, ma'am. Awesome. I was like, I'm going to ask for your help on that just in case. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about you, where you've been training. Well, um, I started wrestling when I was in high school, uh, well, four years ago. Um, I'm a senior now. Uh, I've been competing in jiu-jitsu for about six months. I started here, actually, in Brandon Shelton Wrestling Academy, and I'm just looking to go out there and have some fun. Sounds good. So mm. have you been, because you're pretty new at jiu-jitsu, just six months, have you been mm -hmm. able to get to some of the jiu-jitsu competitions or this is um, right in the cage? Well, no, I have uh, competed in a few uh, tournaments. I competed in NJJF a few times. So uh, that's, I mean, I've had a little bit of experience with it. So I'm, I'm not completely fresh. Okay, and so you've wrestled as well for four years, so you're familiar with... Um, a lot, you know, being in the spotlight, being a solo um, athlete, basically out there. You don't have a team around you. Yes, ma'am. I've uh, gotten pretty prepared for this uh, situation, you know, with uh, wrestling like that. Well, you know, the thing that I always hear about people that have been in the cage for the first time um, is um, it, it's a little bit of a different feeling. And you, you hear the little clinking of the cage doors um, locking and all those sounds and noises are just so different. And so I'm sure your coaches have already prepared you for that. And I've been trained very well, yeah. I've been uh, preparing for several months leading up to this. So I'm, you know, very prepared and I uh, feel like my training will pay off. Nice. So are you still wrestling as well or are you just dedicated strictly to jiu-jitsu now? I, I, it's still my senior year, so I wrestle for my uh, school. Yes, ma'am. Oh, good. So you're in wrestling season right now. Yes, ma'am. So you guys are probably pretty busy. Mm -hmm. But it helps definitely with my cardio and uh, it's definitely helping with my training. I'm uh, getting a lot of practice in, so I feel like I'm very prepared. Wonderful. What high school are you wrestling for? I wrestle for Moore High School. Um, right it's down a the great road. Yeah, it's a, it's a great school. Uh, it's probably 20 minutes from here. Yeah. Now, are you eventually, once you're graduating high school, what are your aspirations? Well, I would love to keep doing jiu-jitsu. Um, I'm going to college for engineering up in Wichita State, up in Kansas. Uh, hopefully, I can find a great jiu-jitsu gym up there uh, and keep competing on top of the, you know, going to school. But going to school right now is my... Uh, Congratulations on getting your career kicked off so early. Right, and even you. before graduating high school, you're getting mm -hmm. in the cage. And so... Bright future, I'm sure, ahead for you. And you guys, a bright future ahead for you if you come on out to Roll in the Cage 9. It's our Struggle Snuggle featuring Ethan here. And I think we've got 22 bouts on that card, followed by Rage in the Cage the next night, February 10th. And that is our Valentine's Day Bash. You can get your tickets on stubwire.com. Make sure you choose this guy or any other guy's name on the card that you support so they get credit for the ticket sales. And other than that, your job is to get down to the Oklahoma City Farmer's Market February 9th and 10th, and we will see you there. Thank you.